The 20th century saw a great many new discoveries regarding celestial phenomena in the universe. One of these is the black hole. When a star has consumed all its fuel, it collapses in on itself, eventually turning into a region with infinite density and zero volume and an immensely powerful magnetic field. This is called a black hole. We are unable to see black holes, even with the most powerful telescope, because their gravitational pull is so strong that even light is unable to escape from them. Their presence, however, can be perceived by means of the magnetic effect they have on the surrounding area. In the Quran, God draws attention to this matter in this way. And I swear by the star's positions, and that is a mighty oath, if you only knew. All stars with large masses set up gravitational fields in space. A black hole constantly increases its density and thus gravitational attraction by drawing everything around it or that passes by it into itself. In this sense it resembles a hole in space into which everything around it is pulled. That is why they are known as black holes. This information about stars in the Quran is also remarkable. I swear by heaven and the Tariq, and what will convey to you what the Tariq is? The star piercing, the darkness.